Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Swatkov's Raceway. Alright, so we're going to be testing the Renault today and basically what we want to achieve is first shakedown of the car to just kind of get a feel of what's going on. After this, there's going to be a massive heart surgery program that's going to take place in terms of the, uh, the electrical system and ECU and that. So today what we're going to do is just have fun, take it around, test a few things and see what it's like. Okay, so yeah, I'm just taking the car out, getting it warmed up, going through the gears, trying to warm up the tires. Also with the new car, you never know how it's going to react under load in a high grip situation, like on a circuit. So here, yeah, also just feeding it through, see how it understeers, if it understeers, how does it react. You can see I'm really battling with the gears. These cars actually sound a lot like uh, the old Polar Cup cars. So here I'm going for my first hot lap in through turn 8, car rotated nicely, I didn't carry too much speed because I didn't want to put too much load on the tyre. Really battling with the gears in this car. Also, so that's turn 1, turn 1 is quite committed, I didn't push really hard there at all, just really wanted to understand what the car is going to do. Turn 2 is the second gear corner, couldn't get second in this car so I just kept it in third. Um, which really eats up time, you know, there's so much time left on the table with this car, but You can see I was battling, sounds really good though, this gears are terrible man Turn 4 is quite a fast corner You really want to maintain a lot of speed through there Again, I didn't push too hard because I wanted to understand what the car was going to do under load Sounds really good going up the hill. Turn 5, you want to take it in second gear. But again, I was battling with second, so I just maintained third, maximized the momentum. Responded really well through there. Coming down the hill to turn 8. As I get on the brakes here, I see, ah, oh, there's a strap of oil there. I was actually very, very lucky to keep it on the circuit because a lot of guys went off there. So yeah, the session was red flagged. There were no flags up at turn 8. So so all I was doing there is just cleaning the tyres to get off as much uh, oil as possible. So here, the owner of the car, Wesley, he actually takes the, the car out to fix up a very nice dice with this Mini. And they had a bunch of fun um, during that session was the first time Wesley was driving this car in, in this state in anger and he did really well obviously there's just so much to learn you know, in comparison to driving it on the street but he really enjoyed it and that's the main thing have fun so how'd it go Wes? <laughs> a lot of fun is it? I've got a lot to learn though your best lap? 125 125 okay it's not too bad <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't blame it on the car. Oh my driving. Yeah, I think the car's quite good at the moment. I think uh, we've just got a little bit of work to do on the setup and taking weight out and whatever. But the next big thing. Then I went out the second time and I did a hot lap in the car. I tried to maximize as much as I could out of the car to see what it's really, really could do. So turn out was great. I feel like I carried good speed through there. The car inspires a lot of confidence still battling in the brakes. Turn one, I wasn't committed. I was quite quite a bit of bump steer as well, so I didn't want to push too hard. But I feel like what, what I can out of the car. Managed to grab second here. Pick up quite a bit of wheel spin. Bang it on the limiter, unfortunately, and then battle to third. So there's so much time left on the table there. And battle again to fourth. Probably lost 6.7 already just through that come up to turn full brake get off the brake turn in let the car do its thing 
feel like I could have got more out of the car there. But again, it's not my car. I didn't want to push too hard. Carry the speed up to five. Feels good. Could have gone deeper on the brakes there. Coming up to turn six. Car well, feels good. Not much more in it there. Turn ten seven. The car rotates nicely. I kept it in third here because it didn't make sense to change to fourth. Maximize the speed through there. And try to get a good exit onto the onto the main straight. So that was really the best lap I could get out of this car. Without you know pushing or applying too much risk simply because it isn't my car. So it was good fun. Thank you Wesley for the opportunity. So we all done, I'm on my way back. So everything went well, well the car stood up really well to the punishment we gave it. It's very encouraging um, that the car did so well. So from here, there's a, there's a lot of small things. There's some um, play we've got to take out of the brakes. I didn't push too hard on the brakes. I didn't have a lot of confidence in the car. The car didn't fade, it didn't, the tires didn't overheat. It was very responsive, it was very predictable. There's a lot of weight that we can still pull out of the car. The other thing is we're going to be installing an ECU Masters ECU into that car. The reason we're going for an ECU Masters ECU is because of the drive by wire throttle. Not very happy with the fact that it doesn't have power steering. That is a bit of a problem. It's been taken out. So, but yeah, there's a few things, a few little things. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.